What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well. We had ourselves quite the day today. If you guys watched the videos that I put out yesterday, you could have potentially got yourself the ideal entry for some GameStop calls. You guys asked me on Wednesday to put out a video more specifically for GameStop if I did like the setup. And yesterday, I put out two videos. One was an overall market update video, which I put out late night. I think it dropped at around 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But the first video that I put out yesterday was a breakdown of the GameStop setup up entries and what I would look for to potentially go long going into this week ahead of us. Now, for those of you guys who were in the Discord, for those of you guys who did get the live calls, I did swing calls with GameStop from Wednesday, from Thursday, sorry, into Friday. Those calls did see a high today of over 78% on those calls. Congratulations, guys, for being part of another perfect entry for GameStop. Now, we did see calls up and down 5, 10% in the market open, but today we did have ourselves some amazing plays there. Tesla, we had puts go over uh, 160% for Tesla for NVIDIA. The puts went over 296% at times. Uh, I think it got there twice today. Didn't quite get to the 300 level, and I was watching and waiting for it. Never quite got there. Uh, we also had GameStop that ran up over 76%. Those were for October 18th calls. Okay, so I'm gonna take a quick peek here to take a look at what the actual calls were like for, for anybody who did get into, you know, zero DTE calls or one week out calls. Um, GameStop calls today for, let's just say 23 bucks. The GameStop calls today for 23 bucks were up 443% uh, at close. That is insane. They saw a low today of $3 per contract and a high today of $163 per contract. If you ended up buying GameStop calls today at market open, even YOLO, those would have roughly netted you, and give me a second here to figure it out. Those would have roughly netted you. Market open was $16 per and the day high. Roughly 63, 920% today. For those of you guys who watched yesterday's video, I hope you had an absolutely smashing day, okay? Let me know in the comment section how well you did today. If you did end up finding those, the entry, the call, I'm going to break this down. Um, kind of like an update video, okay? Anybody out there looking for more information on trades to get the call outs, the watchers, the educational videos, if you want to be able to see, because I even put it out there. Um, I even took a screenshot and posted it online about the exact post that I had for the Discord on on uh, on Thursday afternoon. I'm grabbing a couple of these October 18th um, uh, thirty dollar calls, and those are the ones that ran up, you know, seventy six percent. But the, if you did get anything shorter than that, they were up significantly higher in percentages. Now they probably also saw a little bit more drawdown in the morning. Like I think these calls were down at most 10% today, at most, but then the, the market opening was a little bit, you know, shaky. Um, if you had shorter expiration, you might've seen a 15, 25% dip. Um, but then again, you also saw the anywhere between, you know, 75% basically to a thousand percent plus at times today. So it was just an amazing day today for the market, amazing day today for our community and amazing day today for anybody who did jump into the Discord of course yesterday. Now for this video guys, I'm gonna give you guys a quick update. I'm gonna really just relax t uh, tonight, have some fun, I'm gonna have some friends over, relax a little bit. Tomorrow I'll give you guys much more of a thorough breakdown. I do wanna review the flow, I do wanna review the options data. Roaring Kitty came back today as well. As you guys saw, um, the post that I had today was of Rory Kitty. I mean, this is just five hours ago. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm gonna do a video. I'm pretty sure I can track the options that I think he bought. And I don't think he bought back in with more GameStop options after this move here. He apparently sold out of his uh, Chewy. Um, and the thought is to me, if he had GameStop options, he would have exited off of this rip today and potentially bought shares. but. I, I don't know if he bought more options where that would have been. I need to check through out the options chain to see how the open interest might have moved from today and to other 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 dates. And I haven't quite done that yet, but it's just gonna be a quick market update, all right? So here we go. Rowan Kitty is back and that is hilarious. So this is finally a level that I have been looking for. Finally, a spot where I do feel comfortable looking for, you know, a much better call. In yesterday's video, for those of you guys who didn't watch, you're a sucker, but I'm just kidding, kind of. Uh, I highlighted to you guys that I was looking for this. 
Very simple. We had a double bottom. We had a breakout. I was looking for a pullback and a retest before an upside move here. On this day, Thursday, May 2nd, we saw a 16% move. Today, we saw a 6% move. So obviously, they're not the same. But it was the exact same setup, okay? This was a double bottom. We broke out. We pulled back down to retest a previous level of resistance, use it as a level of support, and then see that upside breakout move. Now, today, we saw something very similar here. We saw that higher low, aka that double bottom. We saw that breakout. We pulled back down to retest this 2157 to 2188 level of support, and it absolutely ripped up from there. Now, we got a daily candle close over 2372. Finally, the daily candle close well above it. We saw a day high today of 2448 which was amazing the next thing that i'm looking for here is for us to see a nice gap up you know something just something solid nothing crazy you know maybe half a percent one percent pull back down towards this 2372 to 23 dollar range show me that buyers are stepping in show me that now this previous level here resistance over here is now going to be a level of support and i'm going to highlight this in a different color just so you guys can see it here very clearly. This is something that I will be looking for, okay? I wanna see a pullback down towards this range here. Buyers step in, I already have calls, but I am trimmed, I cut down half of them. For those of you guys in the Discord, you guys know, when it, once it pushed past 70%, I was half out of my position there. I Listen, this is all fun and games, and I love when the meme stocks can run and yada, 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 but when you are up 70% with the position that you took the day before, Make some money, take some money. Be smart about it, right? I'm not going to hold on to these things for kingdom come. See a little pullback here. Whoa. Little gap up here. Pull back here. Use this as support. Then I'm going to be looking for that 2767 level here. And I will be looking at contracts for October, like the $30 calls for October 18th. I will be looking for uh, November. I will be looking for December and January. I will not be looking for shorter term contracts unless, unless we do see a significant move, then I would probably roll into closer dates. I would get in a much smaller size trade with closer dated calls to really get those pops, okay? Um, and, and for those of you guys who may not understand what I'm talking about, if we end up seeing something along the lines of a a, a crazy gap up, something like uh, you know, a 10, 15% gap up, the contracts that I currently have that close at um, <clears throat> roughly 40%, if they end up opening up 250% or something along those lines, I will close a lot of those positions there and probably open up some substantially smaller size calls for a week out or two weeks out. That is the next step that I would do if we see something along those lines, right? Um, because I, I would want to minimize my overall risk position there, although the percentage loss would probably be greater with a smaller size trade. The percentage loss in, re in regards to the monetary value would be a lot less, right? And it'll be a little bit more volatile, but I won't care. It'll just be profit. I can just leave a little bit of exposure there and, and see where it goes from there. Um, the next next range here, guys, is roughly 27 uh, to 24 bucks. This is a range that I want to see GameStop trade into. And as we're heading towards earnings, you know, I would love to see it move back up towards 2767 and then see a little bit of a low volume pullback as we head towards earnings so that it can set up for the next move very similar to what we saw here. I want to see something like this. I want to see a low volume pullback and then I want to see earnings pop it off again. We, got, we broke out here, pull back here, consolidate a little bit. I want to see it move back up. I want to see a low volume pullback. I want to see earnings, and I want to see a pop back up above that 2767 level here. Also, I wouldn't mind if we did see a pullback somewhere around this range here before earnings, or sorry, after earnings, and we did stay above this 2372 to $24 range here. If we can just remain above this range even after earnings, I would still remain very bullish here. I think the fuse would still be lit. Uh, for another upside move here, but I'll be taking my time here uh, as we head towards earnings and making sure that I do, you know, m take a lot of profit off of the market as we head closer and closer to earnings. Earnings are going to be on Tuesday, so please keep that part in mind. Um, GameStop can change their earnings, and it is supposed to be Tuesday after hours, but be very careful. Anything can happen. Okay, guys, it is Friday. I'm not going to get too far into this market right now. We saw a pretty significant pullback here. I told you guys in yesterday's video as well. If this was inverse, if these charts were inverted, I would be going long here. For the spy and the cues but they're not so be very careful like this was a pretty significant dip here across the board i don't think it's done but i do think it will allow for us to get some very nice long entries into the back half of the year okay
for those of you guys who have not, of course, guys, smash the like button, engage the video. If you want more information on trading, guys, link in the description below for the Discord. Enjoy your Friday. Have an absolutely amazing day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Much love. Deuces.